hi everyone welcome to java lambda expressions tutorial part 2 i have already published part 1 on my youtube channel so look at here under java tutorial playlist you can find java 8 lambda expression tutorial with examples part 1 and in part 1 i have covered basics about lambda expressions and i have also covered few examples like java lambda expression example with no parameters single parameter multiple parameters and java lambda expression example with or without a return keyword and java lambda expression example with implementing an enable interface and using for each method with lambda expression with an example so these are the few examples i have covered in part one and in part two i would like to cover few more examples so that you will get a hands-on experience on java 8 lambda expressions all right let's get started So first we'll start with the very basics we'll see how to sort a list of integers in ascending order and descending order and then we'll see how to sort a employee object by their salary in ascending order and descending order using anonymous implementation of comparator and next we'll see how to sort a list of employee object by their name in ascending order and descending order using anonymous implementation of comparator so we'll see first anonymous implementation of comparator interface then we'll replace anonymous implementation by lambda expression okay we will see how to sort the employee object by salary in ascending order and descending order using java at lambda expressions okay and we also see how to sort a list of employee object by name in ascending order and descending order using lambda expression all right we're going to create all the examples to demonstrate these use cases okay let's start with a very basic how to sort a list of integers in ascending order and descending order let me switch to the Eclipse ID and let us start developing these examples. So here in Eclipse ID, I have created a class. I have named it as a sort list and here is a main method. Inside main method, we are going to write the logic. So first we create a list. Okay, we are going to create a list of integer. And we are going to use array list implementation of list interface. And let's go ahead and let's add a few elements to the list here. I'm going to add 10. I am just going to copy this and let's add a few more elements to the list let's add a 30 20 50 and 40 so first we will see how to sort a list in a traditional way let us see how to sort a list using traditional way and then we will move to the uh, you know how to sort a list in ascending order and descending order using java at lambda expression okay so probably you know this class right collections util class it provides a sort api and we can use this api to sort a list in ascending and descending order so here we need to just pass a list to the sort method and this will by default sort in ascending order okay great now let's put a sys out and let's print a list to the console and here if i run the program look at here the output the list is sorted in ascending order 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay now let us see how to sort a list in descending order so collections you know utility class provides a api called a reverse so we can use a reverse api or method to sort a list in descending order so this will sort a list in descending order okay great now let's put a sys out to print a list to the console here I'm going to run the program here look at here the output 50 40 30 20 10 so this is how we sort a list in descending order so this is very simple uh, here just we are uh, sorting a primitive types that is integer now let us say how to sort a custom objects all right let's create a employee class and we are going to sort a employees by their salary all right so let's go ahead and let's create a class and let's name it as employee and let's go ahead and let's create a few fields private int id private string name private int h and private uh, here just provide a salary long salary okay let's go ahead and let's create a getter setter methods to access these private fields 
and also create a parameterized constructor it's a pretty simple uh, employee class with these fields and now let us create let's comment out first and let's create a list of employee objects list of employee and here we are going to use a realist implementation of list interface and let's go and let's add employees to the Here we have our employee list and uh, we have uh, four elements in an employee list. We have uh, four employees in an employee list. Alright. Now let us see how to sort uh, employees by their salary. Okay. So probably you know the comparator interface, right? So in order to sort a uh, custom objects by their their uh, you know fields, for example, in our case we have an employee. And if you want to sort an employee by their salary or name or ID or age, we have to implement a comparator interface and we need to provide our own logic to sort a custom object. For example, we are going to create here a class which implements comparator interface. And here we need to provide a type that is employee. And comparator interface provides a compare method, and here we need to write the logic. O1 dot. We are going to sort uh, employees by their, their salary. So let's go ahead and let's call a get salary. And here it's O2 dot get salary. And uh, salary is a type long. So here we are going to provide a cost great now what we'll do we'll again call the collections utility class and here we are going to use again a sort method so look at here sort method is overloaded here so there are two overloaded sort methods and we are going to use this one list and with second parameter is comparator we are going to pass a comparator okay let's pass a employees as a post parameter and second parameter we are going to pass a comparator interface implementation now this will sort our uh, employees in ascending order now let us print uh, employees to the console for that first we need to create a two string method inside an employee class so right click source and generate two string select all and generate and here we just provide a sysout and let's print this and let's run the program and here you can see the output so here we have sorted employees in ascending order by salary first comes 3 lakh 50 thousand then 4 lakh and then 4 lakh 50 thousand and then 5 lakhs all right this is how we sort a employees by their salary in ascending order so in order to sort a uh, employees by their salary in descending order what we are going to use we are going to swap the uh, reference here o2 dot get salary minus uh, minus one dot get salary so this will sort a uh, employees by their salary in descending order so in order to test this just just call the again a sort method and here just pass a list that is employees and just use the my sort so this will now print employees in this thing order so look at here just comment out this five lakhs four lakh fifty thousand four lakh and 3 lakh 50,000. So, this is how we sort a uh, employees in descending order. It's pretty simple, right? So, we need to just swap the reference here. Okay, great. 
so this is how the traditional way we sort a list in ascending and descending order let's go ahead and let's use a lambda expression to sort a list in ascending and descending order so as we know that comparator interface is a functional interface and we can use a lambda expression to implement a comparator interface so let's go ahead and let's use a lambda expression to implement a comparator interface and we'll sort a list in ascending order and descending order for that i am going to just remove this code and what we'll do we just again call the collections dot sort method here and we pass the employees first we'll see the anonymous implementation of comparator interface so here we pass the employees employee type and here we need to provide implementation for comparator compare method and just pass this logic So this will sort our employees in ascending order. Let's put a sys out and let's run the program and let's see the output. So look at here the employee with 3 lakh 50,000 come first and employee with 4 lakh, 4 lakh 50,000 and 5 lakh. Alright, so what we have done, we have provided a anonymous implementation of comparator interface. This, this will sort in ascending order, right? ascending order now in order to sort a list in descending order what we have to do is we, we have to just swap the reference let's run the program and here you can see the employee with 5 lakh salary comes first and then 4 lakh 50 thousand 4 lakh and 3 lakh 50 thousand so this is how we sort a list in ascending order and descending order using anonymous implementation of comparator interface now we have anonymous implementation we can replace this implementation with a lambda expression so how to do that it's pretty simple collections dot sort and here what we need to do is we need to pass a first parameter as employees and second parameter as lambda expression it's pretty simple to convert anonymous implement class implementation with lambda expression so what we have to do is just copy this here and let's construct or uh, you know lambda expression so let's let's remove this name method name because lambda expressions don't have name and here we also remove the type here okay and we also uh, you know remove a return and here we need to provide a lambda expression syntax like this arrow okay and this is the single statement we can remove uh, curly braces and open open braces and curly braces so this is the lambda expression let's copy this and paste here all right pretty simple right so i hope you understood how to construct a lambda expression let me explain one more time so copy this method here outside and remove this name because lambda expressions don't have name and this is the single statement so we can also remove a return and this curly braces and open braces and here we need to provide an arrow like this and we also remove a type here that's it it's pretty simple right so this is how we construct a lambda expression from the anonymous implementation and you can just copy this and here you can just paste here all right pretty simple now this will sort a list in descending order because we have swapped our references right so let me swap the reference and let us sort a list in ascending order first let's run the program and look at here the employee with salary 3 lakh 50,000 comes first and then like this okay now in order to sort a list in descending order we need to just swap the reference here 
so this will sort a list in list in descending order let's run the program and let's see the output yeah here we go the employee with salary five lakh comes first and then in descending pretty simple right so this is how we sort a list in ascending order and descending order using lambda expression now let us see how to sort an employee by their name so here we just need to replace a get salary method with get name here and string provides a compare to method we are going to use compare to method here and just call one dot get name all right pretty simple now let's go ahead and let's convert this method with the lambda expression so lambda expression don't have name so let's remove this and this is let's provide an arrow mark here this is the lambda expression syntax and this is a single statement so we can remove uh, open braces and curly braces like this okay and we also remove return integer and we also remove the type here and this is the lambda expression let's copy this and here we need to just replace a second parameter of sort method like this it's pretty simple right i hope you understood how to convert anonymous implementation with the lambda expression so this will sort a employee by their name in ascending order let's run the program so look at here ramesh comes first and then santosh and then sanjay and then Mode. sorry here we need to provide o2 right yeah so again run the program and let's see the output promote comes first and then ramesh and then santosh and then uh, sanjay and then santosh okay let's sort employee by descending order so we need to swap the reference like this o2 and o1 so this will sort an employee by their name in descending order let's run the program so look at here santosh comes first and then sanjay and then ramesh and then pramod so this is how we sort an employee by their name in ascending order and descending order using lambda expression to get a more hands-on experience on lambda expressions let's create a one more example that is arithmetic operations example using lambda expressions so we use lambda expression to implement different arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction division and multiplication all right let us see how to perform all these operations using lambda expressions right click new and create a class and let's name it as lambda example one all right and as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function which we can use to implement a functional interface if you are new to the lambda expression and functional interfaces please visit my previous video tutorials where i have shown you all about lambda expression and functional interfaces so as we know that we use a lambda expression to implement a functional interface so first we create a functional interface so i am going to create a fun you know interface here interface and let's name it as arithmetic okay and here what we will do we will create a method called operations and here i am going to provide a method argument int a int b and we can just annotate this uh, interface with add functional interface annotation okay so that uh, we can confirm that this interface is a functional interface even we can skip this annotation uh, because functional interface is an interface it has only one abstract method and compiler will treat it as a functional interface once we create a functional interface now let's go ahead and let's perform arithmetic operations so just i'm going to quickly create a main method here and first we'll see how to implement this interface using anonymous class so first we'll say addition operation arithmetic arithmetic equals new arithmetic this is the anonymous class implementation of arithmetic interface and here what we will do we will just return a plus b okay so this is the addition addition operation all right great 
and next what we will do we will just call the operation method and we pass here 10 20 and this will print in a sysout just uh, type the message here like addition and here just close this okay and just run this program and here you can see addition of 10 plus 20 30 all right this is how we basically uh, write uh, you know anonymous class to implement arithmetic operation let's convert this anonymous class implementation into a lambda expression so look at here how i am doing so as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function and it doesn't have any name so what we'll do we'll remove this name up to here okay so look at here how i am converting anonymous class implementation into lambda expression so delete this and we give a arrow here because lambda this is the lambda expression syntax and we delete this okay okay now this is the lambda expression and even we can make it even more shorter because it has only one statement so we can also remove this open and close curly braces okay and even we can also return uh, remove the return here okay so this is the lambda expression even we can remove the type here all right so look at here how our lambda expression looks like it is pretty concise and neat right within a single line we can perform arithmetic operation like this let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here it gives a same result let's do it for uh, subtraction multiplication and division so here what I will do I will just create again a arithmetic reference here I am going to now call it as subtraction and here what we'll do we'll first create an anonymous implementation and here what we'll do a minus b okay and here we need to just call the operation method on subtraction object 20 minus 10 let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here the subtraction is 10 20 minus 10 is 10 and let's replace this anonymous implementation with a lambda expression all right let us see how to do it so what we can do here is we just remove this name because lambda expression don't have any name let's delete this and let's delete this curly brace and here we need to provide a syntax provide the arrow here so this is the lambda expression right and now even we can make it more shorter it contains only one statement so let's go ahead and let's remove the open and curly braces like this and here when we can remove the return because it has only one statement and let's remove the type here from the parameter this is how the you know lambda expression looks like it is concise and neat right great let's go ahead and let's run the program and here is the output it's pretty simple right so similarly let's go ahead and let's do it for division okay so similarly we will first see the anonymous implementation of arithmetic interface new arithmetic all right and now this is a division operation here we need to provide a logic like a division b like this and here just let me provide a sysout so division operation right and here i'm going to call operation method on division object and just provide 20 10 all right so let's go ahead and let's run the program and let's see the output so look at here 10 divided by 20 divided by 10 it gives 2 
now let's replace this anonymous implementation of arithmetic interface with lambda expression so it's pretty easy replace this name and again I delete this and again provide here a arrow all right and it contains a single statement so let's go ahead and let's remove open braces and curly braces like this and even we can also delete the return delete the type of the method argument so look at here this is the our lambda expression so let's go ahead and let's run the program and here is the output all right so similarly let's do it for you know uh, multiplication again create a object of arithmetic interface like this so this is the anonymous class implementation of arithmetic interface and here we are going to perform multiplication operation right a into b and here what we'll do this is the multiplication and here i will provide a sys out to just print the multiplication operation it's pretty simple so in this way you can get a hands-on experience so here i'm going to call operation method again and here i'm going to pass you know 10 20 so this will give us a 200 result so let's run the program and here you can see the output this is the multiplication now let's go and let's you know uh, replace this anonymous implementation with lambda expression so as usual lambda expression don't have name so let's go and let's delete this part and give here arrow and it has only one statement so let's go and let's remove the curly braces and close braces and even we can also uh, you know, remove the return statement and type up the method argument like this it's pretty simple so let's go and let's run the program and here is the output all right so this is how we write a lambda expression for you know to implement a functional interface now let us see one more example so let's uh, implement runnable interface using lambda expression all right to get an hands-on experience let's create one more example in this example i'm going to show you how to use lambda expression to implement a runnable interface all right as we know that lambda expression is a anonymous function which we can use to implement a functional interface and functional interface is an interface which has only one abstract method and in java runnable is a functional interface which has only one abstract method that is a run method okay so look at here this is the internal implementation of runnable interface and runnable interface is a functional interface it has only one abstract method that is run method all right java 8 introduce uh, functional interfaces and lambda expressions right if you don't know what are lambda expression and functional interfaces then you can visit my previous video tutorials where i have explained you all about lambda expressions and functional interfaces all right just remember functional interface is an interface which has only one abstract method and in our case runnable is a functional interface it has only one abstract method so as runnable interface is a functional interface we can use a lambda expression to implement functional interface and uh, in java basically we create a thread in a two ways first way is by implementing a runnable interface and another way is by extending a thread class so in this example i'm going to show you how to create a thread by using a you know, lambda expression which implements a runnable interface okay so look at here this is the class it has a main method and inside main method we are going to write the logic so first we'll see the traditional way so in a traditional way what we need what we do is we create a class which implements a runnable interface and we override the run method and we provide an implementation for a run method and also we create anonymous class implementation of a runnable interface for example in a traditional way what we will do is we create a class something like this my thread it implements a runnable interface and here we just override the run method and here we provide the you know logic to execute uh, you know it, we just provide here the code which executes this thread okay i'm just going to print here thread name 
thread dot get current dot get thread name so i'm going to just print the thread name here so this is how uh, we create a thread in a traditional way so another way is uh, we create anonymous implementation of runnable interface something like this a new runnable and here we provide a code which the thread will execute something like this and we create a thread object and we pass the enable object to it thread equals new thread and here we pass our enable object to the thread and then we start the thread we'll do something like this right in a traditional way we create the thread and we start the thread like this so this is the anonymous implementation of a renewable interface now let us see how to use a lambda expression to implement a renewable interface it's pretty simple so what we can do is we can you know just remove this part so as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function which don't have any name so we can remove this part like this so look at here how i am doing so just delete this and delete this close curly brace okay and here we need to provide arrow mark so this is the syntax of lambda expression so look at here this is what our lambda expression looks like and if we run the program here you can see the thread name is printed here to the console like this all right uh, we can make this code even shorter because this block of code or uh, this is the body of the lambda expression okay and this body contains only one statement so we can remove this open and curly braces great so look at here in only one line uh, i have just converted anonymous class implementation of renewable interface with lambda expression something like this so look at here this is the lambda expression and this lambda expression we are assigning to the renewable object and that renewable object we are just you know passing to the constructor of thread class like this so instead of passing renewable object to the thread class constructor we can directly pass this lambda expression like this for example let me copy this and here i'm just paste it and i will remove this okay so look at here how the code looks like it is more concise and neat right all right so this is how basically we uh, use lambda expression to implement a runnable interface and we directly pass a lambda expression to the constructor of thread class okay now let's go ahead and let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here the output the thread name is printed to the console all right so this is how we use lambda expression to implement our enable interface that's it guys all about lambda expressions so we have learned the lambda expressions with lots of examples in this part two and i hope you found this video tutorial useful and subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you get notified thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video